Hello everyone! Welcome to Math Corner. In this video, we will discuss geometric series in summation notation or sigma notation. Let us begin. Let us evaluate summation of 5 times 2 raised to n minus 1, where n goes from 1 to 10. In this notation, since n goes from 1 to 10, 1 is the starting point, 10 is the stopping point. It means that the number of terms is equal to 10. We need to find the sum of the first 10 terms of the expression 5 times 2 raised to n minus 1. To determine the first term, we will substitute 1 to n in the expression 5 times 2 raised to n minus 1. If n is equal to 1, a sub 1 is equal to 5 times 2 raised to 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0, and we have 5 times 2 raised to 0. 2 raised to 0 is equal to 1, 5 times 1 is equal to 5. The first term is equal to 5. If n is equal to 2, a sub 2 is equal to 5 times 2 raised to 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1, and we have 5 times 2 raised to 1. 2 raised to 1 is equal to 2, 5 times 2 is equal to 10. If n is equal to 3, the third term, or a sub 3, is equal to 5 times 2 raised to 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2, and we have 5 times 2 is squared. 2 is squared is equal to 4, 5 times 4 is equal to 20. The first three terms are 5, 10, and 20. To determine the last term, we will substitute 10 to n in the expression. a sub 10 is equal to 5 times 2 raised to 10 minus 1. 10 minus 1 is equal to 9, and we have 5 times 2 raised to 9. 2 raised to 9 is equal to 512. 5 times 512 is equal to 2560. The last term or a sub 10 is equal to 2560. This summation notation yields geometric series 5 plus 10 plus 20 all the way to 2560. Let us find the sum using the formula. In this series, the first term or a sub 1 is equal to 5. If we divide any term by its preceding term, the common ratio is equal to 2. n is equal to 10. Let us substitute all these values to the formula. s sub n becomes s sub 10. Equals a sub 1 is equal to 5. Times the quantity 1 minus r raised to n is equal to 2 raised to 10. Divided by 1 minus 2. Let us simplify. We have s sub 10 is equal to 5 times quantity 1 minus 2 raised to 10 is equal to 1024. All over, 1 minus 2 is equal to negative 1. If we divide 5 and negative 1, the answer is negative 5. And we have s sub 10 is equal to negative 5 times 1 minus 1024 the answer is negative 1,023. Negative 5 times negative 1,023. The answer is positive 5,115. Therefore, summation of 5 times 2 raised to n minus 1, where n goes from 1 to 10, is equal to 5,115. And that is how to find the sum of the terms of finite geometric sequence in summation notation. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.